lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. So today's class has been requested by one of my lovely subscribers. It's going to be Yoga for Knees. So I believe this subscriber is into their running. If you're a runner, you'll know how important it is to look after those knees. So today we'll be working the hamstrings, the quadriceps, the hip abductors and adductors. We're working on those calves as well. They're all the muscles that we need to keep healthy and strong to keep your knees happy and healthy. Right, without further ado, let's get started. Right, so we're starting off lying down. We're just going to bring our right knee into our chest, right knee into the chest. So we're interlinking those fingers, just holding underneath that patella, that kneecap. I'll pull it in as tight as you can. Shouldn't be any knee pain going on in any of these postures. If there is, please avoid it and move on to the next one. So just a nice few deep breaths here. Okay, and we're going to release that right leg down. We're bringing the left knee into the chest. So yet again, interlinking those fingers just below that kneecap and pull it in nice and tight. Just trying to warm up that area nicely. Last couple of breaths. Okay, from here we're going straight into our bridge. Fantastic posture for working the muscles around the knees. So we're gonna bring those heels as close into our buttocks as possible. Now normally with bridge, I say you can keep your feet sort of hip distance apart. We're gonna bring them a bit closer because we're working the adductors there down the insides of those thighs. So we're pushing on the feet, really pushing bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling so you can keep your hands, arms flat on the mat. If you wish for more heel interlinking those hands underneath your back, locking those arms nice and straight, really trying to push your body bottom up towards the ceiling. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release those arms and down we come. So now we're taking the feet a little bit further apart. So the feet are hip distance apart, knees up to the ceiling. She find you get a bit more movement in your lower spine. Now we're pushing up again. And this time we're coming up on the toes, right up on those toes for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, up an inch, four, three, two, one, and release those arms, roll the spine down, nice and gently. And then we're taking both those knees into the chest for a little hug and rocking gently from side to side. Okay, we're gonna rock ourselves up to seated. We're going to take our legs into a nice wide triangle. We're taking hold of the fleshy part of our bottom, pulling it back, and then we should find that we're sitting forward on our sitting bones. We're extending the arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up, and we're coming forward and down. Now, if you're feeling really tight in this area, release those feet, okay? If you want more, you can flex those toes back towards you, and we're just staying there. Staying there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up we come. Now we're taking the soles of those feet together. Okay, into our lovely cobbler's pose, holding underneath the outside edge of those feet. We're going to give our knees a little wiggle up and down. Now from here, we're popping the elbows on the outside of the calves, trying to pull on the feet, trying to pull your nose down towards your toes. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. Now we're keeping this feet in this position here. We're taking our right hand to the right and we're taking that left arm over the top, left arm over the top for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. So left hand goes out to the left, right arm drops over the right, looking up to the ceiling if you can, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come, and yet again, we're just coming forward and down. Head and neck nice and relaxed. Okay, so nice and slowly up we come, pop those legs out in front and gently give those knees a little wiggle up and down. 
Okay, so from here we're going to go straight into our leg stretches. So we're going to keep the left foot on the floor. We're going to take the right leg up towards the ceiling, toes up towards the ceiling. Nice hamstring stretch going on here for your quadricep working if you're pulling on that muscle. And we're just walking the hands out in front, trying to drop our nose down towards our knee. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one we're taking that right knee back bringing the left leg forward left toes up towards ceiling walking the hands out yet again think about your quadricep here pull it up nice and tight relaxing your nose down towards your knee for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one take that left knee back now we're going to take that right knee to the outside edge of the mat and we're going to sink all the way down sinking all the way down so it's our variation of lizard lunge staying there for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one we're taking that right leg back bring the left foot through to the outside edge of your mat again sinking on down staying there for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one well done we're taking that left leg back and we're just going to have a little rest in child's pose so bottom sinks back on the heels resting your forehead on your hands and just stay there now nice and slowly we're just uncurling up we come and give your shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Now with here with the hands, we're walking them back and what we're going to do here is nice and gently, we're just trying to lift the bottom off those heels. Any pain here, don't go too mad on it. Nice and gentle, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and lower down. Well done. Okay, we're coming up to standing. Chair pose in yoga is absolutely amazing for all of those muscles that we need to work. So feet hip distance apart, raising those arms to shoulder level, and we're simply pushing our bottom up behind, chin out in front. Now, to make it a little bit more here, we're gonna take those toes up towards the ceiling. So you should feel all the outside of your glutes working here. Sink on down, nice deep breaths. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. So we're going to do a nice IT band stretch now. We're going to take the right foot over the left foot, right foot over the left foot. Now we're trying to keep our legs as straight as we can, so push your bottom out behind as we come forward and down. Now, if you can't reach the floor, don't panic, just dangle those arms there. If you can, you're turning those hands away from you and you're trying to pull your nose in towards your knees. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, put those hands back out in front, pull your tummy in and up we come. Okay, so swapping over those feet. So left foot over the right foot, left foot over the right foot. And again, coming on down, push your bottom up behind you. Hands to wherever comfortable. If you can, you're taking them behind you. Try to pull your nose in towards your knees. For tap, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly, we come and uncurl. If you want to give your shoulders a little roll back and down, that's fine. Okay, we're going to do our pyramid poses now. Left foot at the back of the mat, right leg comes forward. So we're keeping both the legs nice and straight. We're raising the arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up. Now you're really pushing your bottom out behind you. We're coming forward and down. Now, if your hands don't meet the mat, you can rest on the leg, but never against the knee, please. And once you're here, you're just relaxing your head. If you wish for more here, you can take your toes up towards the ceiling. Staying there for tap. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull your tummy in and up we come. We're stepping the left foot forward and taking that right leg back. So left leg's nice and straight. It's steady the arms up, nice big inhale, up we come. And again, pushing your bottom up behind you, coming forward and down. And again, for more, you're taking your toes up towards the ceiling, otherwise just stay where you are, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, put your tummy in and up we come. 
So warrior is fantastic for a bad center one and two. So we're taking our right foot out to the right, heel is back on the left foot. Now, we want our tummy back to center, so put facing in front. You want your right knee over your right ankle. You should always be able to see your toes when your knee is bent, so please don't overextend. Right arm out in front, left arm out to behind. Now, we're looking down the middle finger on the right hand. Now we need to engage those legs. I want you to squash your feet into your mat like you're trying to break your mat in two. So this leg behind should be as solid as the one in front. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're just straightening that right leg. We're pivoting around to the front. Walk the toes out a little bit more yet again. Make sure you can see your toes. Left arm out in front, right arm out behind. Yet again, squash those feet into your mat. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna take the heel up on the right foot. Extend our arms up to the ceiling. Okay, we're going to warrior one, looking up if you can. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the arms raised, we're pivoting around to the front again. So heel comes up on that foot, keep the legs straight, bending that knee, looking up if you can, if the balance is hard, look down to the floor. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more done, step that foot in. Okay, last couple of tough ones. So triangle now. So we're taking the right foot out to the right, heel back on that left foot. We want our hips square to the front of the room again. Standing those arms up to short level, we're just bringing the right arm down and the left arm up. Looking up to that hand, no pushing against the leg. Think about your core here. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, up we come. Keep the arms raised if you can. We're pivoting those feet around. So yet again, hips back to center. We're bringing the left arm down and the right arm up. Looking up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. Well done. Okay, we're going into our lovely Ardha Matsyandrasana. So legs out in front, grab hold of the fleshy part of your bottom and pull it back. So we're taking the right foot over the left thigh, right foot over the left leg. Now, if you're new to yoga, keep this left leg out in front. If, you're, if you know what you're doing, you're going to bend it back, but both buttocks should remain on the mat. So Ardha Matsyandrasana, lovely spinal twist, still very good for the knees. Right hand goes at the base of the spine. Left arm pushes against that right thigh and we're twisting around looking over our right shoulder. If you're more advanced, you can go into the bind. You're taking your left arm underneath that right leg, right hand comes behind, and you're twisting around looking over your right shoulder. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, well done. So both legs start out in front again. We're taking that left foot over the right thigh, left foot over the right thigh. Yet again, keep that right leg out in front. If you wish for more, you're bending it, but both buttocks on the mat, please. Left hand at the base of the spine, right arm pushes on that left thigh, and you're twisting around, looking over that left shoulder. Yet again, for the more advanced yogis of you, you're hooking your right arm underneath your left leg. Left hand comes behind, clasping those hands, twisting around, looking over your left shoulder. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, well done. So the last one we're doing is lying down on our mats. Now it's our lovely banana sana. Yes, I did say that right. So what we're going to do here, you're going to take your left foot to the left outside edge of your mat. Then you're gonna simply hook your right foot over that left ankle. So right foot over the left ankle. Now, from here, you're gonna raise those arms above your head. You're clasping those hands however you're comfortable. And then we're literally gonna bring our body around. So we're a little bit like a banana shape. Okay, and then we're just staying there. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back to center. So this time the right foot goes out to the right. Left foot hooks over, and then we're gonna bring our body over to the right side. So you should feel a lovely stretch down the side of your body in this one as well. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back to center. We're gonna bring the knees into the chest for a little hug and rocking gently from side to side. Okay, when you're ready, up we come to seated. So thank you very much for joining me today for this yoga for knees class. I hope it helped alleviate your symptoms. I've got some great yoga for runners classes. I'll drop a link over here, regularly practice. It's got a lot of these postures we were doing today. Should keep your knees ticking over nicely. If you like this class, please give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to my channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. Drop me a comment down below and let me know how you got on. I'd love to hear from you. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.